Hello everybody, welcome to Dedmec Plays Undertale Part 7. We died last time, trying to escape the wonderful and terrifying village that is the, uh, the Timmy village. I think that's the case. It has been a little while since I played this game, so you'll have to forgive me. Okay, so we almost figured out where I'm supposed to go, I believe. Yep, no, no, yeah. This is where I'm supposed to go. Unfortunately, we had uh, some issues last time, and this time, we've got this guy. Mold small is very normal. Check. It's a slime mold, but it's not. Alright, how did we deal with this guy before? I'm probably just skip over this, actually. Whoa! Ow. Shit, I suck at this. God fucking damn it. Already 8 HP down. Mold big. Nah, mill's about. Mold understands life now. Shit. Need some distance. Hmm. Unhug. It appreciates your respect of its brown trees. Oh god. I forgot how funny this game was. Great! We almost died in our first fight. But I guess that's life. God, the music for this game is really cool. This game in general is just really cool. Alright, what's the sign say? Okay, that... Oh, without candles or... Oh, wait, no, 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 we've been here before. Hmm. Oops. I'm confused. Oh, wait. I'm confused by the purpose of the lanterns. They make the crystals disappear for a few seconds? Oh, wait. My mouse is in the way. Just ignore that. Oops. I hit a button. Oh. Oh. Interesting. So I gotta go from lantern to lantern. God damn it all. He flexes himself out of the room. Okay, thank god. Just gotta go as fast as I can. Now I got stuck on the edge of that thing. Where's the lantern? There's one. Great. Okay. Just gotta go, 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 go. Oh god. It's surprisingly intense. Okay, great, there's a lantern. Okay. I don't think I saw anything back the other way, and I want to get out of this room as fast as possible, so... There. Cool, then, I guess. Well, shit. What's this all about, then? Behind you. Oh, fuck. Dots. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls. Ah, king. Wait, isn't Undyne a girl? With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity, and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Well, I'm fucked. Oh! Undyne, I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You weren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Well, I think it would be foolish to do anything other than- Oh wait, I've- But I can't get in there. What? Oh no, 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 come on. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, that was just where she came from, I guess. I thought that would be my escape route, but whatever. 
You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the word all around, world all around, that's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You're a bastard kind of conversation. Sorry, this is funny. That's my wish, too. Aww. However, there's a prophecy the angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Gray. Well, I can't say that Undyne's not kind of validated in her desires, but it's fucked up what she's going to do to me. Hey, I, I don't think I even know your name. Oh, don't look at me like that. Thank you. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human, so, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Uh, so, uh, you say something mean so I can hate you? Please? No. Yo, what, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. I don't want to be your enemy, though, so, yeah. Oh! Yo, wait, help, I tripped. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna help her up. Yo, yo, dude, if, uh, if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to go through me first. Oh, shit. Undyne is knowing, learning the power of love. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. This being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> well, let's just be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. But my parents are worried sick about me. Thank you, creepy dinosaur lizard thing. Because you taught me the value of friendship. Among other things. Like, uh, watch your fucking step when you're crossing a bridge, goddammit. I mean, seriously, that bridge is like two feet wide. Jesus Christ, you gotta be careful on those things. Anyway, I have a feeling we're about to go to a new environment or something. Because, uh, ooh. Epic. Seven. Seven human souls and King Ascor will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. I've read this on the wall plaques. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? She became Blue Hat. Oh. She has a fish head. I thought she was going to be a lady skeleton, but okay, because her name was Undyne, so, like, undead, but whatever. You, you're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books make the humans think we, make me think humans think we're cool, with their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you, you're just a coward, hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable? <clears throat> I'm sorry. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment, but we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> Oh, thank god, I at least get a save thing. The wind is howling, you're filled with determination. Um... I guess it'll have to do, I can at the very least I can use all my healing items. But, oh well. I wish I had a box! That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! Oh boy. On guard! Undyne attacks. Um... I guess we'll check. Undyne, that heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. I'm confused. Oh, shit. I have a shield that I can block it? Whoa. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. 
can tell on uh, dying here attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Not bad. Then how about this? It's like it's a rhythm game all of a sudden. Undying points her, her points heroically towards the sky. Uh, she doesn't respect cowards. So, for years we've dreamed of... I uh, skip that, I'm sorry. Ooh, yeah. Undying thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Ooh, I'm a little tem I'm not exactly sure what to do. Um, I guess... Let me see. I could continue challenging her until she respects my martial strength so much that she simply gives up. Uh, pleading with her I don't think is going to help. Because she's, you know, so determined and stoic and so forth. Um, spare, I guess. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, there we go. And I suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Okay, they, it seems to be with most bosses that they gotta do their monologue th first. There we go. It smells like sushi. Mmm, sushi. I can go for some of that right now. Yeah, enough warming up. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, shit. I wasn't expecting that. No, okay. Undying Pro heroically towards the sky. So I could flee right now, but I don't want to. Mercy, ha! Huh. I still can't believe you want to spare me. Come on. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. God, Jesus. Undyne bounces impatiently. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. Her attacks go faster. But even if I spare you... Ow, oh, why did I do that? Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Um... Oh, shit. Oh, okay, wait. Okay. Why can't I go over to the next page? Whatever, I can just eat one of these. I'll just eat an ice cream. This is this is this as sweet as you? Aw, it does say something nice. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Ow. It smells like sushi. I'm aware of that. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Ooh, smooth. Undying towers threateningly. No! Nah. No, Jesus! Maybe I shouldn't have challenged her twice. So stop being so damn resilient! Okay, she's getting frustrated. This is the right thing to do. Yeah, with bosses, all you can do is endure. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Undying thinks of her friends. And pounds the ground with her fist. Maybe I shouldn't have challenged her. Oh well, I can always just, you know, eat all my food and then, uh, ooh, shoot. Mm. Yeah, I shouldn't have used that. What the hell have humans made of? I can always just start over, you know? It's not like recovery items are super hard to get. Ah, fuck. Undyne points heroically, yes. Anyone else would be dead by now. Well, you made one mistake. You forgot that I had an ice cream bar and also some, uh, food for astronauts. Alphys told me humans were determined. Uh, oh, shit. Undying powers threateningly. I see now what she meant by that. Ah! 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 I can't believe I blocked that final one. It smells like sushi. I think I'm gonna die. But whatever. But I'm determined too. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Too fast, too much, too quickly. I have to drink the spider cider. HP was maxed out. Determined to end this right now! Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of those attacks. Undyne bounces impatiently. Okay. Right now! There we go. Undyne thinks of her friends, yes. Right now! Ah! Ah, uh, oh, oh, Jesus. There we go. Undyne draws her finger. Okay, there we go. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Okay. Whew. All right. Nah, die already, you little brat. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no, it's all gone wrong. Oh, no. It all went wrong. Well, shit. I'm sorry. 
Fortunately, we're right next to her. Um, I'll probably cut out a little bit of the fight. Um, and let's see. I won't challenge her this time because that was stupid. Alright, alright. We'll just skip to it. I'm gonna get ready to enact my super secret plan. Ow, shit. Alright, there we go. Undia's twitching. Alright, I run away. Oh, I love how there's a terror animation. Oh, crap. Stop running away! Oh, okay, I've just got to run like a little bitch then. Undying attacks. Oh, I should have just fled. Okay. Whatever, I'll just have to survive this one. Not much room for... Uh, okay, there we go. Smells like sushi. I've got better to do. Uh... Come back here! Oh, mouse again. Sorry. You little punk. <laughs> Ring. Hey! What's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think we'd make great pals. Let's meet at our, up at our house later. Oh, great timing, Papyrus. I appreciate your input. Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, you're sleeping. Whatever. <laughs> I love how she checked, too. Oh, God. Um, do I... Okay, armor. So hot, but I can't give up. Oh, She looks dry. I'll get her some water. It's a water cup. Oh, uh, water cooler. Take a cup of water, you take a cup of water. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna give her the water. Give Undyne the water? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Perfect placement for a water cooler, really. Okay, yeah, great, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, you're just as perplexed as, uh... Actually, no, I'm not perplexed at all. I know exactly why I did that. It's because I'm not a dickbag. Can I get some more water? Yes. Okay, great. That is not an item I can use. Cup of water returned to the water cooler. Okay. Well, oh, Sans isn't there anymore. I guess he works three jobs. Whoa, okay. Clam-headed man? Oh, Jesus. Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over to, from the waterfall to get a drink. Okay, do you, do you want a, a drink, then? Are you carrying around that to look, <laughs> around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Well, you're a dick. The water evaporated from the cup. The cup returned to the cooler. Great. I'm filled with determination, of course. Oops. Oops. Uh, laboratory. Interesting. Hello, sir. Are you the... I am the Riverman. Are you Charon or Charon? Or am I the Riverwoman? Doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? What happens if I do? Where will we go? Oh, interesting. Then we're off. Alright, so I found Vast Travel, and I'll just skip through this, because I don't want to force you guys to watch it. Wonderful. Alright, great. Um, hello, gentlemen. Dots. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us, totally told us there was a human in the area. So I guess Royal Guard's blocking off the elevator for now. Yeah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Mr. Undyne. Cool, I guess. Ooh, cool. Mmm, how mildly unnerving. It's too dark to see near the walls. It's you? Well, yes, that would appear to be me. It's too dark to see near the walls. Great. Too dark to see. Too dark to see. Too dark to see. Too dark to see. Oh, okay. You don't look terrifying. Oh, you were adorable from the side. Oh, my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um, hi, uh, Dr. Alphys, I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've uh, been observing your journey through my console. Your flight, your fights, your friendships, everything. It was originally going to stop you, but 
Watching someone on a stream really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know where you're right to Iascor's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, this is just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot ma named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti-human combat features. <laughs> Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I've made a teensy mistake about doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing robot for a thirst for human blood? <laughs> yeah, but hopefully you won't run into him. I'm totally gonna run into him. Hmm? Did you hear something? Oh, no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties! Oh my god, I love them already. To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. Why does he have the symbol of corn on his uh, monitor? Humans for the human throne. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no. Blood for the blood god. Humans for the human throne. Yeah, sure. Whatever. There's only one rule. Is that F4? Answer correctly. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's number one. Or you die. Metaton attacks. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Money. Mercy. Haha, <laughs> you wish. Wrong! Christ, sh quiz show continues. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Oh, I know this one. Correct, what a terrific answer. And enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, metal and magic, sugar and spice. Too easy for you, huh? Quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you. Uh, 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 only 30, I don't know, this is not even actual seconds! Uh, train A is moving, how much longer, uh, 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 God. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Oh, God, this just got really hard. It doesn't even look like 50, that looks like 30. Push show continues. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Oh, that's Froggit. Oh, fuck you. That is a bitch move. Time to break out the big guns. Dating simulation video game Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. What is Mew Mew's favorite suit? <laughs> snail ice cream, and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor, and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship, and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Uh, the human? Seriously? My, my. How conceited can you get? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on, your, on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail. And always, always whispering. No, wrong. You have to go that way. And its own way. Is this not love? Wow. First robot I've met who understands love. Well, well. With Dr. Alpha's helping you, the show is no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. That was a magical experience. That was certainly something. Right, wait, wait. <laughs> Love how there's something actually programmed for this. I give you my phone number, then maybe if you need help I could... What? Where's the phone? It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. You can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. 
I even signed you up for Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Great. Dimensional box, eh? Holy shit, I can access my box from anywhere. That's awesome. Oops, the female beat up figurine with the human female human with cat ears. That's cool, I guess. Dimensional box B. Okay, so I have multiple boxes. Alright, I'm gonna go heal up real quick. And oh man, I don't know how long this episode has ended up being, but I think it's a good place to end it. Oh shoot. God damn it. Alright. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.